Assalamu alaikum good morning students hope you all are fine open your book count on book 4 page number 28 here we have a new topic that is factors factor means a number that is multiplied with another number and produces a given number we can arrange objects in groups in the table given below 12 pebbles have been arranged in different ways in this box we have pebbles in ones means we have 12 pebbles and we have 12 groups and each group contain only one pebble So, twelve multiply one is equals to twelve. In box two, we have pebbles in twos. Means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six groups, and each group contains two pebbles. So multiply six with two, and we get the answer twelve. in box 3 we have pebbles in threes means we have 1 2 3 4 4 4 4 and each group contain 3 pebbles so multiply 4 with 3 4 into 3 is equals to 12 in fours we have 1 2 Three, three groups, and each group contain four pebbles. So multiply three with four, and you will get the answer that is twelve. In box five, we have pebbles in sixes. We have only two groups, and each group contain. Six pebbles. So multiply two with six, we will get twelve. Two into six is equals to twelve. In the box six, we have twelve pebbles in one group. Here we have only the one group, and it contains all the pebbles in one group. So multiply one. With twelve, and you will get the answer twelve. From the given example, we conclude that twelve pebbles can be divided completely by one, two, three, four, six, and twelve, and no remainder left. We have. Zero remainder. See this box. Here we have the exactly divisible factors of twelve. That are one, two, three, four, six, and twelve. And we don't have any number left. Number which can divide a given number, leaving no remainder. Are called factors of the given number, and we have one, two, three, four, six, and twelve are called the factors of the number twelve. These are the factors of the number twelve. Here are some examples. Find all the factors of fifteen. You can see the solution of this part. Fifteen divisible by one is equals to fifteen. Fifteen exactly divisible by one, without any remainder. Or fifteen is also multiply with one. By multiplying fifteen with one, we will get the answer fifteen. Fifteen divisible by three is equals to five. 
remainder 0. It means that 15 is also divisible by 5. You can also write them as 3 into 5 is equals to 15. Now 15 is also divisible by 3, also divisible by 5 and get the answer 3. But stop when numbers begin to repeat. Now here the numbers are begin to repeat. 15 also divisible by 15 by itself and get the answer 1 without any remainder. It means that the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. Part B, 49. 49 is divisible by 1 which is equals to 49. You can also multiply 1 with 49 and get the answer 49. 49 divisible by 7 is equal to 7. You can also write a 7 into 7 which is equal to 49. 49 is divisible by itself 49 and equals to 1 without any remainder. Hence we have the factors of 49 are 1, 7 and 49 72 use rules of divisibility to find factors now first divide by 1 72 divisible by 1 is equals to 72 72 divided by 2 is equals to 36 Divisible by 3 is equals to 24. Divisible by 4 is equals to 18. Divisible by 6 is equals to 12. Divisible by 8 is equals to 9. You can also multiply these numbers to get this answer. Now factors of 72 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 9, 12, 18, 24, 36 and 17. Remember, factors of a number are limited. Every number is a factor of itself. Every number is a factor of itself means 72 is a factor of itself means 72 is a factor of 72. And 1 is a factor of every number. You can see in each part that 1 is the factor of every number in 72 we have one factor in 49 we have again factor 1 in 15 we have again factor 1 it means that 1 is a factor of every number all right in the above examples, we notice that the number 1 and the number itself appear in every list. 1 into 5 is equal to 15. 1 into 49 is equal to 49. 1 into 12, 72 is equal to 72. And 1 into 65 is equal to 65.